Uh, and Senators, if I may, is uh, a personal observation and a longtime observer of this great committee and occasional witness. Just note that it's, uh, bring, it's music to my ears, I'll have to say, to hear such significant bipartisan convergence on such a critical issue. It's uh, and, uh, some personal interest because I began my career as a young physicist in a semiconductor fabs in New Jersey and Ohio. And we are, as you said, Senator, at the, uh, a rare pivot in history. We're witnessing the emergence of a significant and ostensibly unanticipated new vector for electricity demand. And as you know, I'm referring specifically to the emergence of useful artificial intelligence, AI, especially when it's combined with the next phase of expansion for the cloud computing infrastructure that was pioneered in the United States and expanded to the world. While there is debate, of course, and outright guesswork about where the future specific uses for AI will come from both civilian and military, no one doubts that the AI boom is here. Utility planners and energy pundits have rediscovered a basic truth. The arrival of new ways to boost the economy illustrates a longstanding correlation, a kind of iron law that links growth with rising energy use and especially electricity use. We have a good idea why we're now seeing such surprising leaps in near-term forecasts for electricity demand. Put in monetary terms, not the physics terms that I grew up with, but in monetary terms, every billion dollars spent on data centers leads to over $60 million a year in electricity purchases. And last year, before the, before the AI acceleration kicked into high gear, capital spending on U.S. data centers was running at over $100 billion a year. Now the addition of AI-enabled hardware is accelerating both the rate at which data centers are being ordered and the energy use per data center. So a billion dollars spent on a new AI-infused data center likely drives something like $200 million dollars a year in energy purchases. Now for context, the billion dollars spent on new EVs, for example, or a billion dollars worth of new chip factories generates only about $20 million a year in annual electricity demand. That AI has a voracious energy appetite is not news in the technical community. There's been myriad studies uh, pointing out that the so-called training phase, uh, that is the equivalent of building, not flying an aircraft, can use as much electricity as driving a Tesla anywhere from 300,000 to 4 million miles. And then the use phase, flying the AI, so to speak, can consume 10 times more electricity. And there are, for all practical purposes, nearly unlimited numbers of potential applications for both training and using AI. Of course, AI will become more energy efficient. The latest AI chips are already 100-fold more energy efficient over the last half dozen years, and they will get another 100-fold more efficient before the year 2030. But efficiency won't solve the so-called problem of rising electricity demands. It will do the opposite, just as it did in the rise of the first cloud era. Improving energy efficiency lowers costs, which is what makes the, elect the proliferation of the benefits of the product or service possible, especially in digital domains. Operating at the computing efficiency of a 1980 computer is a single smartphone today. Just one of them would use as much electricity as a skyscraper. A single data center would use the entire grid. It's because of electricity gains that the world has billions of smartphones and thousands of data centers. Consequently, today's global cloud infrastructure already rivals the energy used by global aviation, and that's before AI. We can count on the pattern repeating with AI. Electricity demand coming from the expansion of the cloud will continue to overshadow the combined impact of new EVs and new chip factories. But whether the AI expansion is in fact fully realized and chip factories, excuse me, and the expansion of chip factories and EVs as well uh, in America, that will be determined, as other witnesses and senators have you have said, on whether we have adequate electricity, whether it's affordable, and whether it's available when it's needed. And given the scales of electricity demand from the cloud and AI, particularly when added to the demands from reshoring manufacturing and promoting EVs, the nation's electricity producers now need access, full access to all options. Electric power planning now needs to focus on additions to not transitions away from existing electricity production. The U.S. is the world's cloud leader today. We pioneered it. We pioneered AI, much as the U.S. was a dominant aluminum producer just 25 years ago. Producing, again, in monetary terms, a billion dollars of aluminum requires purchasing some $400 million of electricity, which today happens mainly on low-cost coal-fired grids in China, which has become the world's dominant supplier of aluminum, while the U.S. now has single-digit percentage share of global aluminum supply. Aluminum and silicon are different materials in different industries, but the energy implications of the two domains, I suggest, has a relevant lesson for us. Thank you.